Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a scrapbook process video and um, sorry about my voice in advance because it's terrible. <laughs> um, I've been very unwell but I'm getting there now. So um, this video here is part or what I'm scrapbooking here is part of my Sri Lanka album which I still have not finished and it was 2018 that I started the album every layout that I've done for it has been quite involved to be fair so um I love the layouts that are in that album as well but they are very very like hardcore I didn't mess about with any of them there's no simple ones at all they're all uh, I've had a lot of fun with them but I still have quite a lot of pictures left to go so this layout here I'm using the I suppose it's like the negatives from a cricket um I, I cut out all these leaves on my cricket for a different layout for the Sri Lanka album and I had kept this like negative page because I thought it looked really cool so I've just mounted that paper onto some white uh, card and then I'm going to document <laughs> one of the funniest memories I have talked about this in a previous video but it's got to be like two years ago that I spoke about this so um, when we were in Sri Lanka we went to uh, I think it was called Pinwala Pinwala I can't remember Elephant Sanctuary and they had um, a poo paper factory. So they were raising money for to kind of look after the elephants with poo paper. <laughs> so they would collect the elephant dung and then uh, they would boil it, strain it, lay it all out on like, like all the fibers that were left over. And then when it had dried, they would like press it through a roller and then they made stuff out of the paper. So it was hilarious mostly because the lady who kept showing us around and then she sh she took us into the shop uh, where they sell all these genuine poo paper products she kept saying to me she would pick something up and she'd say this is a photo album and it's made from or made with genuine and then she would go pause poo peppers <laughs> and she would say poo peppers like that and it was just so funny i laughed it almost embarrassingly so I was crying with laughter the moment she realized it was funny to me she just didn't stop she just went crazy with it so she was just following us around um, saying what about this what do you think this is made of and then she'd go poop peppers like that <laughs> and it was just killing me so um, now Bill and I use that term to describe toilet roll so if we've run out of toilet roll then we have run out of quote genuine poop papers so yeah one of the best memories from Sri Lanka because I literally died laughing and it was so weird and so random I just loved it so and as obviously a crafter I was excited by the paper I did buy some of the poo papers however they I haven't found anything that really glues it down um, without kind of pulling it apart so that's a shame because I did want to use the genuine poo papers on this layout which is why I held off because I was like I can, eventually I'm going to find a glue that's going to work but it's the genuine poo papers are not great with glue or double-sided sticky tape so I mean if anyone has experience of gluing poo paper and you have any suggestions I would appreciate it so I've really rambled through this whole video all I really did was stick this kind of ready-made background down then I used lots of different um, so some woodblock stamps some tiny woodblock stamps that I got from they would have come from the range uh, they're about a pound for the block of those tiny wood block stamps the other two stamps are the wooden block ones and the clear green stamps um they both came from amazon so uh yeah i just spelled out made with genuine poo papers and then i've mounted the picture on some black cardstock and then I'm just adding some journaling and I use this card which says general instructions which I thought was funny and then uh, I've broken down the creation of poo paper into kind of three steps um, and now I'm just inking the edges because I really wanted this white to this white sheet to kind of pop off the background and they seem to have gone for a green white black sort of theme so you might notice that the background is a tad different if you follow me on Instagram it's at sams.messy.desk I'll leave uh, the information down below if you do want to follow me on Instagram um, and I've been sharing in my stories that I have finally got a craft area so after years of crafting on the dining room table now we're in our new house I actually found a bureau bookcase which is what I wanted to use in the back of the living room 
to store all of my craft supplies. Um, I'm still kind of setting it up and I am going to do a massive paint job on it. So it's early days, but I'm in love with it already. <laughs> and it's just so much fun to have a special space to do it, I suppose. So I'm just adding um, some little, what are these called? Acrylic embellishments. These are acrylic leaves and these came from Bramble Fox. Again, I did buy them about two years ago. So I bought them as part of my kind of Sri Lanka, well, a year and a half ago. Um, as part of my kind of Sri Lanka box. Um, what I've really done is kind of broken that apart now and just using all kinds of things <laughs> for the album. Um, so I will probably do a flip through of where I'm at maybe in the next couple of weeks because it's got some of my most elaborate and advanced scrapbook layouts and I've only really shared a couple of them. So uh, I've, I've shared quite a few on Instagram but I really haven't filmed many of them I've just really enjoyed the process of making making them so I've just added a couple of those down <laughs> look at that I put a little love heart above the poo and then changed my mind <laughs> I just that was a joke really um, uh, and I just stuck them down with like this ordinary PVA glue it seems to work so now I'm having a look at some flare um, because kind of organizing my desk and moving I've sorted so many of my products out and it's so much easier to find everything and then I'm having a look at my brads I've got tons of brads I love them and I actually use them a lot so I've got quite a few layouts where I use brads I don't know if I filmed many with them on but I do use them a lot um, and here I'm just going to use a paper piercer this one's for book binding specifically I don't think it really matters just a spiky object will do um, and then I have pushed this little brad through which says smile on it so um yeah and then i'm gonna add some um enamel dots i think i'm gonna add those next and i've put all of my enamel dots into a drawer and while i was kind of searching for everything i can't believe how many enamel dots i have it's just obscene so i mean i'm really happy about it because i love enamel dots and they're really hard to come by in the uk so whenever i see any anywhere i do tend to get them but I honestly thought I'd nearly run out <laughs> and then, um, yeah, when I was packing to move and then once I'd moved in, I just found so many more of them. I'd obviously packed them in loads of different places. So yeah, that's the joy of moving, isn't it? You find all the stuff you forgot you owned. So here I'm just using a selection of orange and green um, tiny enamel dots. Oh, I'm going to cough. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. I know I'd been talking for too long. Um, yeah, so I'm just adding, moving them around. It's a very, my embellishing on this was very bitty, I would describe it as. Um, I went for really small things. I find it easier to use small things. I was kind of thinking about this earlier, um, that I really struggled to use die cuts. Like I hardly ever use die cuts. I noticed that again when I was unpacking and I was thinking, I've got so many unused die cuts, it's ridiculous. But I don't know if any of you know of any like good videos where people use die cuts. I just, yeah, I just really struggle with it. I like the little bitty bits, but I think this was possibly a tad too bitty, although I do like how it came out. I think it's fun and it's just a funny story. Um, here I'm just adding some little stickers. These are Studio Calico Circles. I actually used these in my last video in the polka dot um, scrap, no, January scrap, no, stash bash. <laughs> oh, wow. January stash bash video, uh, which is uh, yeah, the last video that I posted. Um, so I had them around and I thought, oh, I'm going to use those. Um, and then I'm looking through this Amy Tan sticker book and I've stuck down hashtag goals, which I just thought was funny. I just thought it was funny. I'm such a child. I just find poo hilarious, it would seem. Um, and there's the word hilarious just to demonstrate <laughs> how funny I find poop. Um, and then I was trialing this OMG and it just stuck to the stuck to the photo and I knew there was no way I'd get it off so uh, the trial became I don't know what's the word a win it became part of the layout so um, I think this is everything I think this is everything that I add to the layout I really enjoyed this layout it was really fun it was fun to kind of relive the memory that's the joy of maybe of scrapbooking and even scrapbooking things um, from the past um, yeah, so watch out on this channel for a few more Sri Lanka videos. I've got a couple more um, layouts in the pipeline. So uh, I think I'm going to try and film a couple more. They're just really hard to edit because they're such long videos normally. 
this one was a bit more of a straightforward one perhaps so thank you for watching um, have a little look at the stills and I'll see you in my next video please like it if you enjoyed the video subscribe to my channel and yeah thanks for watching bye